Massachusetts, and behind me is the entrance to Dungeon Rock. The story for this place starts somewhere in between the 1650s and 1660s. A pirate named Thomas Veal is said to have buried his treasure up in Dungeon Rock. Thomas Veal was living inside Dungeon Rock with his treasure when an earthquake happened, sealing him and his treasure inside the cave forever. Almost 200 years later, in 1852, a man named Haram Marble believed that the ghost of Thomas Veal came to him and told him to go dig for the treasure at Dungeon Rock. Marble purchased all this land around the rock and began to dig for the treasure. Haram and his son Edwin began digging around the area until Haram died in 1868, followed by Edwin in 1880. Edwin is actually buried here at the rock, and this pink stone marks his grave. Now it's our turn to go see if we can find the treasure of Thomas Veal. So here is the entrance to Dungeon Rock. It's shut by this steel door right here. But today, it's open. This entrance is quite creepy. Let's go in and check it out. Right, here we go, going down into Dungeon Rock. With these treacherous stairs right here. We don't want to slip, so I'm holding onto the rail. slippery and also very wet in here. Whoa, this is crazy. The entrance gone. Huh? The entrance is gone. The entrance is gone. It's gone. Yeah, it is. It's, it's all the way up there. I'm blinding trash. Oh, all right. Let's go deeper and deeper into Dungeon Rock. Maybe I should have done this when you say It is really cold in here. Oh, man. You can see at the end of the table, it's so cold. Oh, there's a piece of, of wood here. Probably because there's all this water. That looks kind of nice. As you can see, it's all wet on the top. The only light in this tunnel right now is the flashlights and the LED on my camera. It is pitch black and we are in the middle of an old pirate tunnel, an old pirate cave. This really feels like the real life cave from Pirates of the Caribbean. You can hear the echo of my voice. Hold on, there's something I've always wanted to do. Dead men tell no tales. Just like in the ride. <laughs> yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh, fuck. What is wrong with you? Listen, it's just a Disneyland ride. We're not mocking the ghosts. We fully believe in pirates and in pirate ghosts. We believe in pirates. We, 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 we believe in pirates, yes. <laughs> I do believe in pirates. Let's go down further into the cave. So these are what we have to get down, is these little rock formations that are all slippery. Let's hope we don't fall. Oh, oh, oh! oh. Oh, Jesus. So down at the bottom of those stairs is a wall. And then the cave gets really tight coming up. This looks like we're coming to the end where they kind of stop digging. We're stepping on some boulders right here. It's a tight squeeze. Whoa, we just hit a water area. All of that is water. <sighs> Damn. I don't know how deep it is or I keep going. I don't want to get completely soaked though. If I knew how deep that was, I'd, I'd go right through there. But go where? That's the thing. But what if the treasure is down in there? If I was a treasure, <laughs> that's where I'd hide. 
Okay, is that the bottom? Like, is that the roof shining down right there on the water? I think so, yeah. Or is that how deep it is? No, I, I think that's the roof shining. Yeah, it definitely is. I don't know how deep that is or I'd go through. Well, there's only one way to find out, right? There's just no support. Oh man, this is deep. I can tell just by looking at it. Oh man, can I see the flashlight? I wanna see how far down that goes. This thing says it goes in water. <laughs> if I was a treasure, that's where I'd hide. <sighs> Looks like we're not getting through. Our adventure into Dungeon Rock ends right here. All behind us is water. And it's not like we can swim through it. It's pretty disgusting and I don't have the proper equipment to go swimming right now. I have a backpack, I have all the camera gear. I guess this is why no one's found the treasure because it's all water right there. There's no way we're getting through that. I guess we're just two more people who failed to find the treasure of Thomas Veal. So we had to climb over all these boulders to get down out of the water. Now we're climbing on back. This is the treacherous area where I slipped before. Trash is making her way up though. It's crazy how dark it is and how silent it is. All that there is is the echo of our own voices and the droplets of the water. And that's the stairway to get out. Let's go on back up. Thank you so much for joining us as we checked out Dungeon Rock. If you like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. And if you want your very own Dungeon Rock t-shirt, click right up here and go get yourself a Dungeon Rock t-shirt. And don't forget to subscribe down below for more adventures. I gotta walk in. Back up more. Fuck. The story for the. Fuck. The story for this place starts all the way back in six. Fuck. The history for this place date. Fuck. A pirate named Thomas Veal. Fuck. What did he do? A pirate named Thomas Veal is said to have buried his treasure up in a cave, up on fucking shit, fuck. The story for this place goes all the way back to the 1650s to the 1660s, somewhere in between that area. I wanna do that again. Edwin is actually buried here at the rock, and this pink gravestone marks his fucking shit fuck. Edwin is actually buried here at the rock, and this fuck. When Edwin died, his last wish was to be buried here at the rock because he wanted to be with the treasure that he spent his life searching for. But we believe that this is actually the grave of Edwin Marble. Because it said a pink rock marked his grave, and that rock is sort of pinkish. So we're not 100% positive that this is his grave, but we are not sure. He did get moved, his body did get moved because people were messing with his grave. And it looks like a body could have fit right in here. So logically it makes sense, and that's pretty much the only pinkish colored rock around this area. So I'm going to take a wild guess and say that this is Edwin Marble's grave. So here it is, Dungeon Rock. This place really is cool. All these little creepy corridors right here. This kind of reminds me of King Philip's Cave, which we went to explore a little while ago. But I just love the way this looks. 
Let's go in and check it out. <coughs> Casey the bat. Casey the bat. No pirate treasure? No, no treasure. I was hoping for a Goonies adventure. Yeah. He's never seen the Goonies. <laughs> Look at it. You can see your own breath. That's so creepy. That's how cold it is down here. If I see somebody else's breath that isn't ours from Brian, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Sam's butthole. I guess we're just another couple of failed explorers. How do I say that? Pack your stuff. Pack your stuff, pirate. side of Dungeon Rock. There's this little rock formation. Maybe that's another entrance into the cave. Let's go up there and check it out. Nope. Just another little cave formation. But not an entrance with any treasure, unfortunately. Thank you so much for joining us as we checked out Dungeon Rock. Unfortunately, shit. Unfortunately. For Thank you so much for joining us as we went and checked out Dungeon Rock. Unfortunately, we didn't find any fucking shit. Oh my god.